The first slide in this lab that we're going to make is a wet mount of a letter E cut out of a newspaper. So your first step is to get a newspaper, cut out a lower case letter E. So with my letter E located, I now cut it out and let it fall at least near the slide. Once it's trimmed to its exact shape, I put it on the slide, making sure that it's right side up. I'll then add a few drops of water, which will make it flip over, and you'll have to adjust. You can see here that my slide is stuck to the desk. That's because of the properties of the polar nature of water. Now that the E is again right side up, I'm going to add just another drop of water. It won't flip this time. The water is important to hold the cover slip on. The plastic cover slip is allowed to fall onto the slide from an angle. This squishes the water out to one side and helps to eliminate bubbling. Now that my cover slip is on, I make note of the position and orientation of my letter E. It's pretty much right side up. Here's how the letter, P, letter E appears through the microscope. Notice it's change in orientation. Right side up, not right side up. Next slide that we'll be observing is the amoeba. An amoeba is a small, single-celled organism that lives in pond water. There are many on each slide. This is how the amoeba appears under the scanning power, or 40x lens. You can see there are several here in the field of view. This is how the amoeba appears under the low power, or 100x lens. And finally, this is the amoeba under high power. It's actually difficult to get the entire amoeba focused because it's quite deep. Our next slide is the paramecium. Paramecium also lives in stagnant pond water and is a single-celled organism. Again, there are several on each slide. This is the paramecium as it appears on the scanning or 40x lens. This is the paramecium as it appears on the low power or 100x lens. Structures are beginning to appear visible. And finally, this is the paramecium under the high power or 400x lens. Considerably more detail is visible here. And finally, our last specimen is the tiny euglena. It is very similar in shape to the paramecium, but much, much smaller and uses the flagellum to move instead of cilia. This is how it appears on the scanning power lens, basically light blue flecks. This is how the euglena appears under the low power lens at 100x magnification. And finally, this is how it appears under the 400x magnification. You can see this is quite a small organism.